Designed in conjunction with plane makers Dassault, the 905 joins the series very late indeed thanks to a special dispensation which relieves Persia of the obligation imposed on every other team to compete in every round of the series or pay a massive fine for each missed event. Nevertheless, Peugeot were in Montreal in strength, complete with 18 tonnes of backup equipment, their own chefs and their own portable kitchens. The 905 is essentially next year's car, built to the 1991 regulations for 3.5 litre normally aspirated cars with a minimum weight of 750 kilos. Like the Spices, which are of the same breed, it runs without fuel restrictions, though the fuel tank is restricted to 100 litres like the turbo car. The Peugeot couldn't be expected to qualify too far up the grid. The turbo cars run with higher boost and damn the fuel consumption figures in order to sit well on the grid. And the normally aspirated cars, the Aspros as they were called when they came to Formula One five years ago, don't have that luxury. But they do show their race pace in practice. You can expect the front runners to be two or three seconds a lap slower in racing trim than during qualifying, with four seconds difference between pole and the Peugeot's qualifying time, and that in a practice session effectively halved by the weather, so the 905 looks reasonably on the pace. And that's no mean achievement for the man the press has accepted as its lead driver. Sharing the car with ex-Formula One colleague Jean-Pierre Jaboui is ex-Formula One world champion Keki Rosberg. After a retirement which, at four years, lasted slightly longer than Nigel Mansell's, Rosberg returns to motor racing in Group C after Peugeot made him an offer he presumably couldn't refuse. Though it probably wasn't that simple. But Rosberg seems as committed as ever after his rest. Keki Rosberg, first of all, welcome back. After a four-year layoff, you're out of retirement and back with a brand new Peugeot. What do you think of the car and what do you think of the circuit? And the circuit I know very well. It hasn't changed since. Mister. Same degree of scare, be it in a sports prototype or Formula One. Track's too bumpy. It's really changed. That's the biggest change in the four years. It's become very, very bumpy, uh, which makes it very uncomfortable. And probably even to a degree uh, has an effect uh, to the safety as well, because the fast corners, the, the shocks which you take through the suspensions, are getting to the limit which is not, not healthy anymore for the car. Otherwise, I mean, Montreal has always been a lovely place to be, and uh, the project shows potential for next year. A lot of talk about your teammates for next year. If you had the pick of uh, the entire pit here, who would you like to join Peugeot? I wouldn't do the pick here. <laughs> Take the best in the world. That's obviously the best because for me to win races, I need the best possible partner in the world. You know? Yes. And whoever that might be, whoever is available and whatever. I mean, I don't know. We are working very well together with Jabouille, done all the testing together, driving well with a good atmosphere. I don't mind, it's really decisions that has to have to be made by Mr. Toto of, uh, of Peugeot. Finally, the practice here has gone very well for Peugeot. You've had a few, up, a few ups and downs, but the car has qualified well, better than expected, and can you challenge for top six positions here at Montreal? Definitely, I mean, I think even qualifying we should have been in top seven, top eight. Uh, but yesterday we had a problem on the car, which is totally expectable uh, at this stage. Nothing major, we've been running actually, I'd say, more reliable than I expected here. And uh, I think we're going to be challenging for the podium. <laughs>